I'm going to go through it real quick. How do scientists understand and interpret the surface features of Mars from orbit? Right? Here's a couple. Look at this. Looks like the moon, right? No. Maybe. No. Different surface features of Mars. This is the entire, this is the entire planet uh, spread out from one side. You have an image here of the entire planet spread out. Here are certain sections of the geological surface. Here are different uh, features uh, given in, uh, and here's a comparison of the Earth to Mars. So we have all these different uh, images. How do scientists understand and interpret the surface feature of Mars from orbit and determine if a proposed landing site will meet the mission science goals? All right, when you look at something like this. The distance to Mars varies between 80 and 240 million kilometers. It's 50 to 150 million miles. All right, so here's the sun, right? Here's happy Mr. Sunshine looking down at all you bright students. And uh, here's the Earth. And if Mars is over here, that would be about 50 million miles away, anywhere in this range. But if Mars is way over here in its orbit, that can go as far as 150 million miles away. So the distance as both Earth and Mars orbit around the sun, the distance becomes close and far, close and far, because it's two different time periods. Look, second she here. Right. The planet is therefore studied using remote sensing techniques. As part of the science that's used to study, the Mars Global Surveyor and the Mars Odyssey missions, images from these spacecraft have provided valuable information that has been used to understand the surface of Mars. All right, satellites, you know how we have weather satellites and television satellites? They orbit the Earth all the time, sending information back and forth, the storms coming, all the rest of it, right? Well, they've placed satellites around Mars and some of the other planets, like Saturn, Cassini uh, probe. They set them out there, and they send information back to Earth all the time with radio signals. Whether Mars is close or far, they have images directly on the surface 24 hours a day because we have satellites we have satellites that orbit Mars and constantly send back images all the time so whether it's close or far we get the same radio trend you're going to do today the images of these orbiters can also use it the geological process that occur on Mars are very similar to those that occur on Earth comparative planetology that's what you're going to be as planetologists today especially between Earth and Mars is widely used by scientists currently researching Mars. As you work through this activity, think about what you know about Earth to help you better understand the process of Mars. All right? This is a comparison of Earth to Mars right here, Leo. Here's the Earth, and here's Mars. How does the size of Mars compare to that of Earth, if this is the equator right now? Or half. Half. Well, all right, if this is the equator, what do we know about the equator? Yeah, it's about the middle. And the bottoms are lined up here. Mars is about half the size of the Earth. The moon is about a quarter the size. So the moon would be at half the size. If I had the moon up here, it would be this line, the equator on uh, Mars to the bottom. The moon would be half the size of Mars in relationship. Both Earth and Mars have canyons, valleys, craters, volcanoes, ice caps, storms, and seasons. You see this? You're looking at this map right here. What are these white puffy things floating around Mars? Clouds. Clouds. They could be dust storms, but probably, more than likely, maybe over here where it's real wispy, that could be a dust storm. But these puffy ones over here are more likely carbon dioxide clouds. Uh, up here you have an ice cap, down here you have an ice cap. We call it ice, but it's more like dry ice, carbon dioxide, right? CO2. That's the ice so well, no, when we talk about ice, say snow is ice, right? Or an ice cube. You can take an ice cube, pop it in your mouth, boo -boo it, and get some water and enjoy yourself. You take a cube of dry ice, you guys know what dry ice is? Yeah. You ever touch it? Yeah. What happens when you touch it? Your finger gets stuck. Burned, right? Yeah. You get a burn on you. It actually, it gives you a small bit of frostbite right there. It burns so fast. You don't want to hold dry ice. It'll, it'll burn your fingers. It'll just be like sticking your hands in a fire. Yeah? No? But your head will stick to the fire. All right. Uh, Mars is half the diameter of Earth. Both planets have the same amount of dry land. All right. So even though Mars is half the size, the amount of land, because there's no oceans on Mars, right? Uh, the only water that they've discovered on Mars 
is mixed with that dry ice, regular ice and dry ice mixtures at the two polar caps. And uh, obviously there's mostly CO2 in the clouds, not, not H2O, but just CO2 carbon dioxide in the clouds. Uh, Earth's atmosphere is 77% nitrogen and only 21% oxygen. Mars' atmosphere is 95% carbon dioxide. That's exciting uh, to planetologists. Why? Carbon dioxide, how, does it, how is it part of our life? When we breathe it out. It's what we breathe out. All right, what type of super advanced technology do we use to take the CO2 carbon dioxide and transform it back into oxygen? Trees. 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 Uh, if you're really rich and kind of goofy, you might get some type of air filters built in your house so that you don't have to breathe air from outside. Uh, like that crazy guy in Utah that built the biodome. He was afraid that uh, the government was putting uh, mine melding toxic in the air. They didn't want to breathe it anymore. But uh, the rest of us kind of wait for the trees and the plants to do it for us. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Mars has four seasons just like the Earth, but each uh, lasts twice as long. Each one lasts twice as long. So these are some of the comparisons between uh, Earth and Mars. And then, like I said, some of the features. Volcanoes, not active anymore. Uh, canyons and rift valleys. Uh, mud flows. Uh, Craters, uh, you're going to learn about that with these with these uh, identification cards about all those. Planetary missions have to balance two critical areas: engineering and science. To have a successful mission, the engineers have to help to ensure the success of plant, uh, spacecraft. The mission success by landing a spacecraft design and landing site safely into the considerations. On the other hand, scientists want to argue for the area for the richest science return. So two things take place here. All right, uh, there's a great canyon that goes right through the middle of Mars, and uh, right in here, and like the Grand Canyon. And a lot of scientists, they said, that's where we want to go. We want the probe to land right in the bottom of that canyon, right? And the engineer said, are you crazy? And we're dropping something from outer space, right? We're dropping it from outer space, hits the ground. It's gonna, it's gonna bounce up like that, and you're gonna break things. But if you're going to drop it in a valley, you're going to get just like you saw here, where it hits the ground, and then it falls off the edge and falls down and, and hits again and continues to fall. Oh, it's Mars Mars hit me. Did a piece of Mars hit you? And that's exactly what's going to happen, is it's going to break up. It's going to keep hitting the ground. It's going to tumble into a, a million pieces. So the engineers say, well, what about this nice flat piece of land, right? And the scientists say, well, why would we want to land there? There's nothing there. It's flat. So you see what the scientists and engineers have to squabble over what this is. You as a scientist today are going to try and determine from your locations you were given where an ideal spot would be to land. See, channel is a thing of water. Okay. Do we have any of these on here? Collapse. I don't know, there's too much light glare. I apologize for the brightness of our learning environment. Uh, 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 uh,